back to the show and I'm really happy because we're going to continue making lace but I have a special guest we have Sherry from our Market City store you know when you go to the store Sherry's always greeting you telling you hi and helping you a lot but I know that she loves to make lace and that's why I really wanted her on the show Hi Sherry, how are you doing? Hi, fine. Thank you, Joy. I know, because a lot of times you're telling me, oh, I tried making this or I tried this version. And stuff. So it's really great that you came on the show. Uh -huh. And you're going to do a lay now from the lay book? From our new lay book. From, from our new lay book, yes. right? Yes. Okay. And what is it? This is called the cording straw lay? Or yes. Something like that? It's like the three straws that we use with the yarn, except we use rat tail. Oh, okay. So is this it? Mm hmm. Wow, this is really pretty. This is the same thing. So this is not crochet? No, this it's is with three straws. straws. Okay, so how do you get started on it? Well, first, we found that using the skinny drinking straws... Mm -hmm, the regular ones? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ...are a lot better because your lay comes out like that. Otherwise, it comes out a little too thick. Uh-huh, okay. So to get started, we need two feet of grow grain ribbon for each straw. Okay. And to thread it, because the straws are so narrow, what I usually do is just thread it with wire, mm -hmm. fold the wire in half, put the ribbon through, mm -hmm. and then you can just pull it up real easy. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> and we've, I found a whole new use for glue dots. Rather glue than dots. taping uh -huh. the ribbon to the straw, mm -hmm. I just put a little mini glue dot Oh. and bend it over. Oh, that's a smart idea. So that I found when I use tape, sometimes mm -hmm. the wrap, it catches on the tape oh, and it starts shredding the ribbon. I see. So we just take a little bit of a, the glue dot there and then I just... Oh, that's good because I have glue dots. <laughs> Most people have some glue dots. Right. So with the glue dot, you just fold it over. Okay, perfect. Then we take the three straws and the ribbon, and what you want to do is tie your rat tail to one of the straws. Mm -hmm. Do you just need one spool of rat tail? I mean, you don't have to have one for each straw? No, one oh, spool, okay. and it, it'll work for the, the whole leg because you're working off of one spool. Okay. So you tie it on, actually tie a knot to tie it on Okay. to get started. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Take your three straws together. Mm-hmm. And to start, I hold the rat tail like this with my finger in here and my thumb. Mm -hmm. So you make the loop this way. And the book says like, like a, a, a script L, so mm -hmm. that's the L right there. Okay. Right? But just to, you know, give it a little bit of um, substance, I hold it with my thumb and my finger. Mm -hmm. Wrap it around the next color or the next straw over like that. And you just pull. So you do it on the same straw? On the next straw. So your knot's on one, one and you work on onto the next uh -huh. one. And you just How many times do you have to do what you're three doing? Times three times on each straw. So with the loop here in my fingers, I just put the straw through mm -hmm. and I let go and I pull. That's and three. then it, yeah, three. So this is three on one straw. Then you turn counterclockwise and you're going to work to the next straw. Okay, so you go counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what we do, what I found is if you align the loops or your knots mm -hmm. with the space of the straw, you have an even uniform wrap here. Oh, okay. So we work on to the next one. And we're going to pull it snug, but not too tight, because then it'll collapse your straws. <laughs> know your, found, own, know I, your own strength. Yeah, right? I found that out the hard <laughs> way. So we go the second time. So again, like this, mm -hmm. and the loop, and over the straw. Getting started is the hard part, because the three of them aren't connected yet. Mm -hmm. And then the third one. And if you use the three three different colors, it makes it easier so you know which one to work on next, mm -hmm. you know, your color straws. So again, just the L. Now we're on the red straw. 
And we're back where we started with the knot. So okay. this is the third. So it's like a complete round now. Mm -hmm. So now the strands are going to kind of like Now they're going to start holding together really uh -huh. good. This one. You pull it. I guess if you, you can stop any time, but I guess it would be good to complete your three on one straw so when you pick it up, you know you're going to start on the next That's right. Straw. That's right. Like if the phone rings or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you lose, I mean, it's really easy to undo if you forget how many you did or whatever. You can take it off and oh, start okay. again because it's just a loop, so you just pull this open and just slip it off the straw. Mm -hmm. But then when you start working it off the straw. This is how it looks on the straw. This is how it looks on the straw. And when you start working it off the straw, you just need to work it slowly. Okay. Unlike the straw lays with the yarn mm -hmm. where you can just pull it mm -hmm. down easily. This is because it's wrapped tightly, it's a little snugger. Mm -hmm. And if you pull it too hard where it actually comes apart, mm -hmm. you're gonna tend to lose the wrap. So you just want to work it slowly off the and let it come off by itself. Okay. And then Again, this is just wrapping. But this part that's on the straw mm -hmm. looks different from down here. Because it's being held together by the straws. Once it releases oh. from the straws, mm -hmm. it has a little more room to expand. I see. And okay. then the ribbon in the center is what keeps it uniform. But it's really simple. Anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. um, do it watching TV <laughs> during commercials. <laughs> just one, two, three. Just remember you do the three. Right. Because it'll look, it'll look funny if you have, like, you, you if miss you it. Or if you do too many. Right, right. So just remember three three knots per straw. Mm -hmm. And then you turn counterclockwise and you work to the next one. And it's real simple. And at like the that. end, you just gather the rat tails together or? and tie it onto the ribbon? Or? Right. At the end, um, mm -hmm. what you do is work it off the straw. You clip your rat tail, mm -hmm. and then you knot it. You take off your tape, pull the ribbons out of your straw, and then you knot it around the rat tail. Mm -hmm. And what I usually do to secure everything when everything's mm -hmm. ready to be tied together is I take all three ribbons and the rat tail, and mm -hmm. I do an overhand knot Mm -hmm. and catch it all together so it doesn't unravel. So it's nice and secure. Right. Well, thank you, Sherry. Thanks for sh coming here and thank showing you. us how to do this. You're welcome. And then you're going to come back another time to show us another lay, right? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right now, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs>